Hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we're gonna watch a bunch of videos. Hybe has put out four different videos for Dream Academy and these are all performances. There are some vocal performances and there are some dance performances. And also, they've also put up like a video for judges critiques. So we're gonna check all of that out. The reason I'm doing this a bit later, I could have really done this video a bit sooner. But I was like, I don't know if they're gonna put up more stuff. Is this gonna be full videos, full on episodes like Are You Next? I wasn't sure. So that's the reason I kind of waited. I'm still not sure how it's gonna be because they said that the results are gonna be announced on the 15th, I believe. Um, so I'm not sure. Are they just gonna put a short video up like the judges critiques video? Because I think that's a very short video. It's not that long. But I thought that I should just react to what we have right now. So this is why I'm doing this today. Alright, I'm just very excited. Let's get into this. Okay, we're starting off really strong with a dance performance. Team A dance of Pink venom i do not remember how the girls are divided i'm not sure um and also i do not know their names right now it's still very early and i still haven't like really you know taken in all their names so with that in mind let's get into it they look very cool in the thumbnail that's what i'll say Okay, this is Daniela, Megan, I don't remember how you say her name, I'm, I remember she's a Japanese girl, and I think she's the youngest, but I'm not sure, is it Ua or Ua, is it really just Ua, I'm, I do not remember, I'm sorry, Adela and Hinari, okay. They look so good. Mm. Nice start. Nice start. Ooh. Dude. How much have these girls practiced for this? Look at their dancing and their expressions right now. Jeez. That was a great opening by her. I do not... Let me know their names. By her, great opening. Strong. Powerful. Mm. Let's go. Oh my god. Yes. Dude, they are killing it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I have thoughts, but I think mostly for all the uh, videos, I'm just gonna talk at the end of it. So, yeah, just letting you guys know. Ooh, let's go back a bit. Jesus. Oh, their names. Okay, that was Megan. Daniela. She's... Okay, I'm not gonna pronounce her name, but she's... 
I think she's the youngest contestant. Adela and Hinari. Whew. Wow, wow. Vote for your favorites. I hope you guys have been voting. Have you guys been voting? Now that I know of this, I am going to start voting, I think. Like, yeah, I will. Have these girls... Are these really trainees? Oh my gosh. Hybe really brings it with the talent. Like, they do not disappoint with the talent. I am just never disappointed. Even when it came to Are You Next, I thought they were great trainees. And just look at this. And just the production of things. They are going really, really hard with Dream Academy. I feel like even more so than Are You Next. Like, it feels like... It already feels like so much importance has been given to this particular um, show, competition, whatever you would like to say. But let's talk about the girls a little bit. I love all of them. <laughs> I love all of them. I feel like I'm going to do a ranking of how... I like them. There were three particular standouts for me personally. Um, what were their names again? Wait. Sorry, I don't want to mess up their names. There. There we go. Okay. So for me, the standouts were Megan, Daniela, and Ua. I need to listen to this name again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think for now, I'll just call her youngest. Because I think she was the youngest. So it's Megan, Daniela, and the youngest. I think they were the main, main standouts for me personally. And if I had to rank all of them, I would say it would be Megan, Daniela, the youngest, Adela, and Hinari. I think this would be my ranking of them. Like, just taking into consideration, because it felt like all of them were dancing really, really well. So it was really hard to judge from this one mission solely, right? Um, and then it sort of came down to expressiveness. It sort of came down to expression. And I feel like my ranking is mostly... It mostly went to that, because in terms of dancing, they were all kind of killing it a lot. I couldn't really tell much i would say at this point just from one mission like i don't want to judge them like that because they seem like all of them honestly like even hinari adela all of them so yeah i would say i based it more off of expressiveness and how much i felt when they were on screen you know with the song and uh megan and daniela especially wow they shook me from that really, like, from that start to going into Megan. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay, next up, we're moving on quickly to OMG. This is the Team B dance cover. Okay, let's go. Dream. This is so much fun. This is really fun. Dream Academy. Emily, Ezrella, Marquis... Wait, how do you say that? Is it Marquis or Marquise? I'm not sure. Yun Che and Mei. Hmm. Oh, she's beautiful. I love. I love the visuals. <laughs> Nice. Wait. Is she the youngest? I don't. Oh, I'm getting confused. I think it was the other girl, but. Okay, let's go with the moves. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, this this group is a bit harder for me. It's so tough because like in one performance, I'm like trying to see as much as I can and I'm like, I need to. But this group, I will say I feel it harder to rank this group right now in my head. I'm just thinking about it and... She's very pretty too. Listen, all of them are really pretty. Okay, that's May. Cheese Marquis, Yoon Che. Okay. Emily and Ezrela. Right. Whew. Oh, this one's harder. Oh my gosh. They were all so, so good to me. Uh, this one is way harder, t in my opinion. I don't know. Um, man, I personally, my favorites. <sighs> Crap, I don't know. I can't even decide on my favorites right now. Oh, jeez. But there's something about... Okay, I'll speak specifically, individually. So there's something about Marquis that I really, really like. There's something about her aura. I don't know. I think she seems very, very cool. I also really dig her visuals. Um, dancing. I really enjoyed... Oh, uh, wait. Shoot. Emily, was it? I really enjoyed Emily's dancing in particular. Something about her dancing. It was just so strong so perfect i don't know and and the vibe she gave off for this particular song i felt was very apt it was really accurate i really liked everything in terms of that um all the other i th okay since i specifically had something to say about both of these i think they were my favorite from the group but i really 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 like the other girls too they had great expressions maybe i would put it like this i have only top three because <laughs> some of them are tied i would say marky and uh emily in first place and yunche and ezrela in second and may in third may i really like may too she seems very sweet i love her she has a very innocent sort of face i don't know if it's specifically in this performance that i feel like that but the look that they've given her but she has like a very soft uh, face which i really really like in terms of i just felt the only place where i felt the other girls did better because she did great too was in just expressing the song and again how much i felt when they were on screen you know that's that's the main thing. That's the overall impact that someone leaves on you. So, yeah, I think this would be my ranking. She's so cute. May is very, very adorable. She, She's like an anime character right now. But, like... Listen, I'm kind of... I'm kind of very obsessed already with her visuals. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm just kind of... I don't know if it's also the red hair that suits her so much. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. But, yeah. Uh, you guys let me know also in the comments who... Maybe like a ranking for the performances. Or like who your favorite is on the show. Anything. Just let me know in the comments. I would love to browse through that. Oh, it's so cute. Love it. All right, everyone, moving on to the vocal performances. Um, I'm very excited to see people's vocals because even in the introduction video that we watched, that I watched on my channel, 
there were some really great vocals that I heard, so I'm very excited to, yeah, yeah, I should stop talking, let's go. Is this loud enough for the vocals? I think it's loud. Oh yeah, this one was still into you. Oh, Haley Williams. Literally one of my favorite vocalists. I really, really love her. I wonder how they're going to do this song. I want to see it done justice. I think they will be able to. I think so. Okay, it's Sophia, uh, Lara, Celeste, Samara, and Nayang. Okay. Oh, damn. I'm so excited for this song. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps from all the harmonizing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. You know, let's just watch. Wait, they didn't tell me who's who. Wait, did they do that at the beginning? Because I thought they were always telling like their names. Did I miss it? Damn it. <laughs> I don't remember who's who. So, oh no, they did. I guess I was just blind. That's Sophia. That's Lara. Nayong. That's Celeste and Samara. Okay. I just, I actually just want to listen to it again right now. <laughs> but I'm not going to take up you guys' this time. Uh, this, this performance, man. Whew. Wow, I did not, I was expecting huge things because I really like this song already. Uh, and they, they did it justice. It was really, really, be it was a really, really beautiful version. And just so soft, you know. The vibe is so different from uh, the original song. I love the arrangement of it. You remember how I was saying I was having a difficulty in ranking members in the last performance? And now we have this one. I, I'm sorry, but I literally think I cannot rank them. I would... 
personally, I would only say that I felt like everyone got these certain times where they really shined with certain runs and stuff. Except for Celeste, I would feel. I feel like I didn't... Not, not that I didn't see enough of her, but I felt like I heard more of the other girls. I was able to hear more of the other girls. Uh, and them doing like, you know, some crazy things with their voices, some really, really good parts. So I just feel like I did not hear enough. I don't know why I have this feeling after the performance, but I do for her. Uh, but all the other girls, they had these certain parts where they really, really shined, in my opinion. Lara's voice, the tone, the deep tone. I literally had so many goosebumps. We need that kind of voice. We need it. We need it, okay? And I always say this, but like because K-pop like, usually really likes to cater to people that can sing high. Um... But man, if she's in the group, she would be a gem of a voice. I can already tell. Uh, even uh, Sof Sophie or Sophia? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Lara. I'm so sorry. Me with the names, I cannot. Okay, it's Sophia. Even Sophia had... I think it was towards the end that she did have a part where... It sort of showcased her lower tone as well, which I really, really liked. Um, Nayong did great. She had some beautiful parts as well. And I like her tone too. Samara was really I really love Samara's tone as well. And she's just... Samara's voice just sounds like... I don't know why it gives me like a very trained voice. Samara and Lara's. Like they both... I feel like they're, they're like actually trained i bet all of them are but i just get these vibes specifically from samara and lara i, I don't know but yeah i cannot rank them sorry <laughs> no ranking on this one and this team was just way too good i'm not gonna rank them i'm sorry uh but yeah let's move on to the final performance thank you i thank these girls for this beautiful performance i will definitely be coming back to listen to this again okay let's move on all right the final performance we have for today before we move on to like the judges evaluations okay okay so honestly i do not know these songs and some of you might be like really you you don't listen to billy eilish oh I actually don't listen to Billie Eilish. <laughs> so even though she, I know she's very, very popular, I do not know this song. And I don't really know the first song as well. But um, yeah, I'm going to listen to it. It's Carly, Lexi, Ilya. I really like this name, by the way. Just very random, but the name Ilya is so pretty. Brooklyn and Manon. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Ooh, this is a different vibe, huh? Okay. Wait, can I see their names again before I forget at the end? Okay, that's Brooklyn. She has the waves. Okay, Manon. That's Lexi. That's Carly. And that's Ilya. Okay. I think I'll remember. I think so. You call me again, drunk in your bands, driving home under the influence. You scared me to death, but I'm wasting my breath. Cause you only listen to your fucking friends. I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you now Cause I never treat me the shitty You made me hate the city Ooh. I'm in the corner watching you kiss 
Oh, I, I actually know this song. Okay, I thought I did not. Okay. It's the it's the hook that I remember. Sorry, I just want to say I really love their outfits, especially what Manon's wearing. <laughs> I think Manon's outfit is really cool. Okay, anyway. I know the song too, first of all, but also I feel like um, Brooklyn, is it, is leading a lot of this performance? Why does it feel like that? Okay. Most of this performance, I mean? Noise, noise, noise. Okay, so like I said, I felt like Brooklyn gave me main character vibes in this whole performance, dude. I don't know. Also, she's literally in the center, but for some reason, like her parts were very stand out to me. So I feel like she definitely did really, really well. I really liked Ilya's beginning. She's the one who started, right? I think so. I really like Ilya's voice too. I really love the combos that they did. I remember Carly and Lexi and then Manon and Lexi as well. There were some really good like duo parts, you know. I really, really enjoyed those a lot. I feel a little conflicted with this particular performance. I don't know if... I just feel like I didn't get to hear some of them enough because in the last one i only i felt like i heard everyone enough in the last one it was just that some of the members like really really showed up more uh but in this one i feel that for quite a few members i feel that for alexi and uh, manon specifically a little bit for Ilya as well even though she did have the starting some beautiful i don't know um uh, okay, okay. I think I might have a ranking for this one though. I'm gonna put it in three as well. In in three particular groups. Okay, three rankings I mean. I think I'm very confused about this one, man. Oh, this one's hard. I think my favorite was Ilya and Brooklyn. Then I would say it's kind of between... Oh, shoot. Oh, all three of them are really good, too. I would say kind of between um, Carly and Manon, maybe. I think so. But I feel like I really heard the least from Brooklyn. I really do. That I feel like she had some of the simpler parts, too. And I feel like she didn't really 
stand out in a particular part. So I guess I would, because of that, I would put her in third for me personally. Even though I really like the tone of her voice, I think her voice is really clear and pretty sounding. But I wish uh, she was able to show a little bit more in this performance. That's the only reason. I think I might like her tone over Carly's. But this is just like a preference thing. It's just a preference thing, you know? Like some people, you like some people's voices, is that kind of thing. But because Carly was able to really showcase more of what she can do, I feel like I was able to see her more and I liked what I saw. And that's why I would put uh, Lexi in third. Yeah, I think that would be my ranking. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm still... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean any offense to these girls. They did a great job. But that last performance still into you is still in my mind. <laughs> it's still in my mind. It's still in... Okay, you guys get it. Okay. <laughs> okay, lastly, we have this really short five-minute video of uh, the judges' commentary. Okay, featuring a guest advisor okay interesting let's see what they have to say dream 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 academy all right we're here for our first evaluation of the santa monica okay mission and that is where we have teams of two vocal performances and two dance performances Wait, this is this these subtitles are huge and kind of blocking my president of HG. What is that? Oh, the high Geffen thing? Okay. <laughs> I think So Melanie, thank you for being here. We really appreciate it because we want to hear your perspective and advice on these Charlie Interscope. Okay, is he the guy who was talking to uh, Bang PD? I don't remember if it's the same guy. I feel like it could be. And we know this. I know him because of BTS. <laughs> he's their choreographer, right? He was their. He's now the executive creator for. Wow, he got a he got a bump up. <laughs> performances because it's going to be invaluable for us. Thank you for having me. Seriously, seriously. Um, my name is Melanie Fontana. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a songwriter. Uh, it's going to be invaluable for us. Thank you for having me. Seriously, seriously. Um, my name is Melanie Fontana. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a songwriter. Uh, I've been working with Hive artists for about Ooh. the last half of a decade. Damn, really? It and it has been amazing. And I'm just so honored to wow. watch these girls become a band. Let's get into our first performance. Oh, they started off with the last one that I watched. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have to say. Oh, they're watching all of them. So those are the two vocal performances. Okay. Yeah, you know, we obviously have our opinions on it. Definitely want to get your advice on what you think of those two performances. Well, I mean, if you had to pick somebody out of uh, the Still Into You performance, the chemistry between uh, Laura and Nyan, it was just... Oh, that is so true. Literally, I feel like that was one of my favorite parts where they were just kind of looking at each other. I was I was almost going to say looking into each other's eyes, but that, that too. But just like, it was so beautiful. I don't know. The chemistry I agree. between uh, Laura and Nyan, it was just unbelievable. Everybody just blended together so well. And honestly, Samara, like wow. her vocal ability at the very end of the song, this little run, it just made you feel something. Yes, yes, yes. The mashup, that one felt the most like several solo artists singing in a group. They're Dude! She literally explained to me why I felt like I was a little more conflicted about this group. This is the reason. This is the reason. It felt like a lot of times their voices too are just so different. I felt it. 
yes, that was just that that blending. It was just, oh my gosh, this is on the point. I couldn't I couldn't understand why I felt this way about this performance. But this is it. Like even though individually they were great. Okay, I I'm gonna shut up. Let let her speak. Most like several solo artists singing in a group. There were moments that I wished it were more blended. Ilya felt most like a solo artist, but the harmonizing, the tone was really beautiful. Uh, Brooklyn really took the lead on that one, and I excuse me, she that's literally what I said. But I don't know, like how they did the part distribution. I'm not very sure, but because it just seemed like she had so many parts, and like the focus was really on her. So it felt like she was leading the whole performance. It was oh, that's true. Tone was really beautiful. Yeah, Brooklyn really took the lead on that one, and I love how she was just like this powerful voice guiding everybody else. As far as Manon, I think maybe she could have pushed a little more, but she was also mm. so fabulous at backing up her girls. Interesting. Which I think is also a very important thing in a group. So we okay. all agree Manon needs to push harder, but the main obstacle I think we're facing is her missing rehearsals. I feel that this strongly affected her performance. And at this stage, we need to see commitment from everyone. Oh. Ooh. Until now, they haven't spoken specifically so much about a girl. But they are mentioning this in this particular video. That her missing rehearsals. I wonder why. I want to know why. Like, what's the reason behind that? I wonder what happened there, but... This is something huge to note, and I feel like the thing is, a lot of times on these type of shows, the stuff that judges say do end up affecting um, girls a lot of times in terms of like if people are voting for them, which they are for the show, it can affect the votes because even though, you know... <laughs> A lot of times we like to shit on the judges and be like, they have, you know, really crap opinions. But it does shift. It does change things a lot of times. And it really can affect the audience. So I wonder if this is really going to affect Manon's votes. Um, but, you know, interesting. Let's see. So I know your expertise is in vocal, but we'd love to get your point of view on the first dance performance, which is Pink Venom. I feel as a fan, it's hard to make a dance cover exciting, but I feel like Pink Venom, it excited me. Interesting. The dancers that really stood out to me were Megan and Daniela in that one. I am agreeing with everything that she's saying until now. <laughs> Is it just me? I don't know. I'm agreeing. This is... Yeah, I feel you. Uh, they just hit the choreography so hard. Hinari, she was so collaborative. She was such a good backup for everyone. I don't feel like she shined as much as the other girls, and I don't think that was for any fault of her own. Let's talk about Adela for one second. I feel as though in the video, there could have been moments she could have stood out more. I just wanted to see a little more of Adela's personality in that one. I Jeez! Think. Owen I feel like... <laughs> This is really funny, but right now I feel like she's me and I'm her because like everything we're thinking is just like on the spot. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Oh my gosh. Out more. I just wanted to see a little more of Adela's personality in that one, I think. OMG, you could palpably feel how much fun the girls were having. OMG True. to me was fun non-stop to finish there was no nervous energy from any of the dancers i felt emily driving a lot of that one as well see em <laughs> she she the dancing was great from emily the energy was so great from emily wait my okay i need to change my battery <laughs> was no nervous energy from any of the dancers i felt emily driving a lot of that one as Rella as well. Mm. You caught her moving and your eye just sort of followed her around the screen. I feel like there's a learning curve when it comes to dancing and when it comes to performing. For me, the more time May puts in, the better and better she's going to get. 
But Interesting. yeah, Yunche kind of slayed for me. I really felt Marquis' personality in this yeah. one. Yunche and Marquis and Emily were my front runners as far as my eye couldn't stop finding them on the screen. Nice. So dance, mm. which team did you feel performed better? For me, it was the OMG team that really put me in a Ooh. place to go, wow, that's, that's a group. Okay. Maybe I agree with this one. Let, I don't know. I, f I feel like personally, I actually like the other performance more, but they were both really good. Really put me in a place to go, wow, that, that's a group. I need you to tell me who you thought stood out as a team from the first vocal performances. If I was forced to pick a favorite, I would have to say, still into you, has my heart. It really Easily. does. There was this was easy, easy pick. An exchange of energy between the girls. I absolutely loved the chemistry. Okay. These women are so incredibly talented. It's just yeah. out of this world. I think it was super helpful having Melanie here just to give give her view on everything and you know we've been such a part of this process for the past year and a half and I think having someone who's kind of giving their opinion in that way was, was super helpful but I think now we have to really get into it um, and get into all four of these groups. Be sure to watch the in-depth evaluation of the contestants' performances in the result announcement live stream. This is going to be a live stream. Oh... On September 15, 8 a.m. Okay, okay. Okay, so this might change a lot for how I do reactions to Dream Academy. It depends because we all know Are You Next was also live streamed and it, it was not allowed on YouTube. So I wonder if this is going to be allowed on YouTube or not. Because if it's not i'm not sure like i i would probably be doing it on patreon then just like are you next but let's see we'll figure it out you know okay voting ends bottom 14 that's a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> bottom 14 <laughs> jeez but anyway you guys i'm so curious to hear your opinions and your takes on these performances so please comment below about what you felt whatever you felt you know even if you disagree with some of the stuff i said i want to hear it i want to hear all that conversation in the comments um yeah i will see you next time you guys for more dream academy yeah see ya